So guys, I am back with another How Divers 2 video and in this video people we check out some brand new leak stratagems, we talk about the future of the game, I'm already seeing a few videos on people stating this game's already dying because it's losing a few players, today we get into all that and much much more, so let's go. Now the winner of yesterday's 2100 super credit giveaway is Matthew Mac 4436 Hit me up on my Discord link down below to claim your winnings. Also guys, I'm giving away another 2100 super credits or a copy of this game. The choice is yours. To win, simply drop a like on this video. Liberate the video with a thumbs up, people. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave a comment down below. When it will be announced on tomorrow's How Divers 2 video. Also, guys, if you simply just join my Discord, I'm running a How Divers 2 giveaway. So simply just join my Discord, check out that general chat, introduce yourself, and I'll probably pick you to win the game or super credits. Again, the choice is yours. Again, my Discord's linked down below. Good luck, everybody. Okay, so over the weekend, we've seen a few more interesting leaks drop surrounding the game. Mostly gameplay of previously known weapons and stratagems we knew were in the game. And a few other bits and bobs. Well, let's firstly talk about, guys, the fact how Divers has now lost 20% of its player base since last weekend. Even though a new warband has been introduced. So what's actually happening here? Why have people stopped playing this game already? Well guys, it's quite simple, and this goes for every game a month or so after release. No game is going to hold on to 100% of its player base. You've got to remember too guys, people sweat at this game. A lot of players have reached everything they need to reach, and level 50 got all the stratagems unlocked absolutely everything they're just playing now to chill with their friends they ain't going to be playing as much as they used to people also take breaks people don't sweat the game me personally i do not sweat this game i'm literally guys like a level 20 so far i also understand that at some point there's going to be a limit on what i can further on achieve in the game so i'm just taking my time enjoying the gameplay and that's the thing this game offers that incredible gameplay, gameplay we haven't experienced in a quiet game in quite a while now, so it's no wonder why it's so popular, I can absolutely guarantee you, any big content update, this player base is definitely returning, but losing players, 20%, okay, 20% is 20%, losing that over the space of a week, does seem a little harsh in regards to the fall off, but at the end of the day guys, it's never, like I said, ever going to hold on to 100% of its player base. You also have to remember as well, burnout does exist. A lot of people will be burnt out at just how many hours they're pouring into this game. To be honest, this isn't even news. I shouldn't really be covering it. It's a thing that happens with every game. It really does. Even though this is a live service game, it doesn't matter. People will stop playing eventually. It's just the way it is. But holding on to 75% of its player base for this long of a period is absolutely great. I mean, if we compare that to Power World, although Power World is a survival game, once you get to the end, there's no point in playing anymore. But that lost like 75, 85% of its player count within the first month. How Divers isn't going anywhere, you mark my words. The game is definitely not dead. Anyone who insinuates that is just an absolute idiot. It's not dying either. Mark my words, the future is bright for this game. So I'm just going to move on from this. I mean, I've spent enough of my time talking about it already. How Divers is here for the long run. Let me tell you that. Okay, so let's move on, guys. Let's move on already. Okay, so last night over on Reddit, we saw a gameplay leak of the Commando. And you're seeing this on screen now. And you see the text on the screen says, The Commando takes down fabricators in one shot from any range, allowing you to quickly dispose of outposts. It comes with only four shots, however, but the cooldown is relatively small. And I mean, this thing looks absolutely brutal. Let's not lie to ourselves here. This thing is going to be really, really good. And that spear slot you may have, well, there's a new contender in town, guys. Now, reading the comments, someone actually asked this dude how many shots to kill a charger or a hulk. Now, the guy who gameplay tested this says three shots for a charger and one for a hulk if it's placed well in its tiny head. Uh, but it is used better against structures. So, yeah, obviously looking at it, that's definitely the point of it in my opinion too. But, yeah, there we have it, guys. This is gameplay of the commando looking like an absolute beast. 
and credit for the gameplay goes to Solved NC. Now we also see gameplay footage of what is this the defense wall or the trench wall doesn't actually showcase what it is uh but it's i mean i'm not gonna lie to you i wouldn't waste a stratagem on this i mean i've seen gameplay footage of this already and it seems as a one rocket will take this thing out and i think it's just a waste unless you're playing off against uh hordes of bugs i guess it could come in handy there but in my opinion from the gameplay i have seen from this it definitely is some kind of buff maybe take on two rockets <laughs> but just being able to sponge one rocket and it's completely done in my opinion just doesn't warrant the right to use one of my stratagem slots hey that's just the way it is i mean there may be uses for this i'm not gonna lie but for my gameplay and the way i like to run into uh hordes of these enemies head first this isn't for me now credit to this one goes to mouse ttv over on those how divers leaks who leaks absolute tons of things he also leaked this small little snippet we see of the uh, Emancipator. This is a new exo suit. Uh, looking incredible, I'm not going to lie. It's only a 16 second clip. It's sort of like a cinematic. But I love these things. I love exo suits. And the limited time I had in them, I absolutely loved. And this thing looks no different. I think I will like this one too. So yeah. In actual fact, reading through the comments uh, on Reddit on this post, it's actually the small cinematic you see when you hover above the stratagem which is quite interesting he says he's fed up of just leaking uh, individual files and he might as well just leak the video so yeah that's exactly what this is guys so when you come to equip this stratagem this is a small little clip you will see of it so yeah definitely coming soon guys we can count on that and that probably goes for the trench wall or the defense wall we just covered too okay so next up guys we have elite gameplay of the missile silo now again this is from uh, solved nc little text on screen giving a little breakdown of what this thing does and is the missile solo can be guided with a remote control that takes the third weapon slot it seems to be able to take down sturdy objectives such as radar jammers and the detector towers however enemies will attack the missile and it will explode on the ground if destroyed so place it in a smart spot to use it the cooldown is quite small so yeah I like the look of that, I'm not going to lie. I mean, reading the brief description of the leaks we had of this previously, about a week ago back now, I did like the sound of it anyway. So yeah, this one I may actually bring into my arsenal. We will see, people. We will see when it hits the game. Okay, so we're going to move on to uh, a few other Reddit posts, which is quite cool. These are leaked uh, enemies to come. We have the Illuminates and we have an Automaton Walker. Now, what's actually happened here is a guy called Iron Sights is fully textured these designs or these uh, placeholder models that are in the game file so we know they're coming we just don't know when but we're looking at the walker on screen now guys uh, this one is fully textured looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie to you we did see a leaked image of this from the playstation store last week looking absolutely terrifying and this thing is pretty big too i think it's as big as a bow tie and i'm not gonna lie so yeah can't wait to take on these head on or from behind a rock Okay, so next up from Iron Sights again, he uh, fully textured some of the Illuminate enemies and these look pretty badass. We've got three here. Well, we've got two, two different versions of the same enemy and this guy's a big fella too. This guy, we actually saw a uh, comparison to the player size. Things absolutely massive. And lastly here, we see what looks to be an Illuminate enemy staff weapon. And this thing looks cool as heck it really does now i'm wondering will there be some kind of opportunity for us players to experience some of these illuminate weapon types i mean who knows guys i'm not sure i wasn't a player of how divers one so i'm not sure if this is the way they roll in regards to arrowhead and when they introduce these enemy faction types into the game do they bring along weapons we can experience too i'm not too sure but i would love to run around slap people with this i'm not gonna lie but we'll see guys we will see and lastly from Iron Sights, and lastly for the video guys, he actually made a 3D adaptation of the Flamethrower Pistol. We saw leaked a couple of days back now. Now the actual original image we saw in game was legit a full on basic, no detail placeholder model. You'll see that on screen now. And he's come to this conclusion from that. It's absolutely incredible. Now this thing looks really small. We can see the gas canisters there, ready to be equipped. But this thing is going to be an absolute monster. Now, I said uh, on the video I covered day before yesterday on the grenade launcher pistol, which I said I don't believe would be a great secondary pistol because of the fact that I use my pistol when I'm getting basically 
overrun by enemies by bugs uh, a grenade launcher pistol as your secondary ain't really going to be much help there when you got bugs in your face or automatons in your face if you shoot one it goes off in your face it's probably going to take you out too but a flamethrower pistol as my secondary this thing would absolutely make sense to use i mean so yeah we will see guys we will see i mean this could be a weapon that the enemies are using against us this may not be one for us you ever thought about that some of these weapons we're seeing leaked could indeed be enemy weapons to you but who knows guys who knows but great work iron sights on these incredible adaptations and the fully texturing of some of the new enemies coming but there we have it guys the end of the video has arrived if you made it this far you are a true hell diver but thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one